Things always find a way to happen. A pen leaking. Your shoelace coming untied. Toxic chemicals in your drinking water. Fracking is complicated. Oil and gas companies drill into the ground. They take good water, mix it up with not so good stuff, and shoot it into the wells to force out the gas. Wastewater gushes up and gets stored for eventual disposal. All should be good, until trouble finds a way in. A tear finds a way into the lining of a waste pit. Poisonous vapors find a way into your lungs. And cancer-causing chemicals find a way into your glass. Not good at all. But oil and gas companies are fracking more than ever. And the more they frack, the more things find a way to happen. Like the house that exploded, or the animals that died, or the families that got sick. Oil and gas companies say that they have nothing to do with all these things. What they won't say is exactly what chemicals they're using. And they don't have to. They found a way to escape part of the Safe Drinking Water Act. The EPA is doing a new study on the risks of fracking, but oil and gas companies aren't waiting for the results. By 2012, they'll be drilling 32,000 new wells a year, and they're finding a way towards the places where millions of Americans get their drinking water. You drink water, right? So don't wait for the EPA to finish its study. Communities across the country are finding a way to fight back, from Colorado and Wyoming to New York and Pennsylvania. Folks are pushing for stronger laws, delaying new fracking and drilling projects, and protecting their right to clean drinking water and air. You can too. Find your way at earthjustice.org.